Hi everybody. I'm live. I think. Uh, welcome to my fun little stream for the day. I am Savvy and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of one of my uh, favorite genres of games. Um, these are a big throwback to my childhood. These are the uh, Nancy Drew games which um, me and my family used to play a lot on on our own computer at home. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the intro for this game, get it all brought up here with its fun little music. Uh, this one in particular, if I could get the game to show up, there it is, um, is Nancy Drew, The Phantom of Venice. Um, we voted on this one purely based on the title. I've never finished it. And uh, today we're gonna solve a mystery. So thanks for hanging out with me. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. So yeah, that's how these games start. Um, this is Nancy Drew's desk. If you're not familiar with Nancy Drew, um, it's this huge series of books about awesome, um, exciting girl detective Nancy Drew who goes around fighting crime and solving mysteries and saving people and uh, jet setting all over the world somehow even though i'm pretty sure she's only like 18. Um, the books have been around since like the 30s. Um, they're really awesome they have a lot of them but they're really fun and then they started making these great little like point and click mystery games about them um, where you go around and you play as nancy drew and you catch criminals. It's awesome. Um, so this is kind of where you start the game. You have this great little book called How to Be a Detective, uh, written by Nancy Drew, obviously, and also read by Nancy Drew. Um, it's essentially just your tutorial for what to do. So if you're not familiar with like the this kind of genre As always, of game, your mission is oh just. She talks <laughs> a lot, um, but you click on these and it sort of tells you like what you're supposed to be doing, how you move around, how you use your inventory, that kind of thing, how you talk to people. Because um, I think we all need a little help trying to talk to people sometimes. I won't put you through the tutorial because I've played these games and they sort of feel like that's boring to watch. Um, the little scrapbook she was talking about um, goes through all of the cases that came before this one. Uh, this is the 18th game in the series, uh, which is really a lot. Um, and they made several more after this and they're still making them. Her Interactive is, is always going to putting these games out. Um, some of these are really fun, some of these I haven't done, and I think maybe um, if we like doing this and you guys sort of like watching me sit around and uh, do puzzles that are supposed to be for kids but are way too difficult for kids, uh, maybe I'll do one of the ones I've done before to show you guys some of my favorite stories. Um, I'll go to the case file so we can find out which, uh, what story we're going to be following today. Thanks to Prudence Rutherford, the wealthy socialite whose necklace I helped recover while solving that scarlet hand case a while back, I'm on my way to Venice, Italy. Apparently, someone there has been dressing up in a mask and cape and stealing valuable pieces of art. The news media call him the Phantom, not only because of the way he dresses, but because he leaves behind so few clues. Prudence, who loves Venice and belongs to an organization dedicated to preserving the city's art, is outraged the thief hasn't been caught yet. So she talked someone she knows at the GDIF, the Italian version of our FBI, into having me help the police in their investigation. She arranged for me to stay in Venice in the palazzo she used to own, which now belongs to a well-to-do widow named Margarita Foberg. Beyond that, all I know for sure is that I'll be working undercover, and as soon as I arrive, the police will send me something that will lead me to my assignment. What it will be? I have no idea. But am I excited? Oh, see. So, Art Thief, I guess, is what we're doing in this one. Again, I feel like this is a little out of the league of a, like, 
18 year old hometown detective, but we're going to Venice and we're going to catch an art thief called the Phantom with the uh, Italian FBI. You guys didn't know what you were getting into today, but uh, here we are. So I guess we will go ahead and start this mystery. So I take my plane ticket. That's my Italian dictionary. I take my plane ticket and fly away. And I'm going to play on uh, this game has two difficulty levels. Excuse me, I'm coughing a lot. Uh, this game has two difficulty levels, junior detective, in which you can call your friends on your cell phone and uh, ask them for hints when you inevitably get stumped doing these puzzles or trying to figure out what to do next, or senior detective, um, where you don't get hints. And I'm going to play on junior detective because I like being able to... Uh, let's make this a team activity, like being able to call my friends for help. So let's see what's going on here. I'm already scared. This is not good. Well, Nancy, things are not looking good. What the heck happened? This case started out so well. I mean, what could be better than waking up in Venice, Italy? You're probably wondering how I found myself in this situation. Alright, so yeah, these games start out like that sometimes, where they show you a moment from your future. So I think inevitably I'm going to find myself in a situation where I'm trapped <coughs> excuse me, in uh, some kind of sewer or terrible um, underground room and am drowning. Again, these games are for kids. Uh, so I guess this is my room, I think. For my own sanity, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit because it's sort of loud in my ears. It's still kind of loud, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, these games are, are fun. So let's see. It looks like I'm in my hotel room of some kind. So. That's my roommate stuff. Mine's on the other side of the room. Can't go through my roommate stuff because that would be rude. Um... I don't think she's in here. That must be her bed. That's my bed, where I just woke up. Uh, Let's see, oh. what should I wear? Ah, <sighs> uh, I can change my outfit. Well, I know what I'm gonna do for the next half hour. It's, it's, it's not this, I'm just kidding. Could put on a belt. Fancy belt. All right, I feel good about what I'm wearing now, since I'm wearing a fancy belt. Um. Let's see what's going on over here. An interactive guide to Venice. Oh, it's like a little history book. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and read all of this, um, but I'm sure it's very interesting. Lots of history about Venice gelato, which I love. Commedia dell'arte, which I actually do know stuff about because theater degree. Which is clearly why I'm sitting here on a Saturday playing Nancy Drew games instead of doing something productive. But I hope you guys are having fun with me. I'm gonna snoop through my roommate's stuff, though. That must be her. Hmm. Who are you? Is that postcards? Helena. That must be her name. She's sending- oh look, she has, um, friends in Chicago. That's cool. Oh. That's in German. So she speaks German. Maybe she is German. Also German. Anyone out there speak German? <laughs> I'm gonna bank on no. You guys tell me if any of you guys that are watching this in the chat speak German, I'll go back and you can read the postcards to me. Um, so I guess this is my room. This, like, fancy balcony. Ah. Uh, that's not a really suspicious view that's probably gonna come into play later. 
Pesce fresco! I don't think that guy was actually Italian. What's in here? Bathroom. Did you come out here for the cheese? I'm gonna take a shower real quick since I just woke up, I guess. <clears throat> um, well, now that I've explored my room, let's go see this fancy place where we're staying. Mm, this way. I have this, like, compulsion to just snoop through everybody's stuff all the time. I can't read any of this because it's in another language and I don't speak any other languages. I wonder if this is my roommate's. We decided she was German. Interesting. Oh, there's a person! Ugh. Under construction, I see. Hello, you must be the American Margarita mentioned. I'm Colin Baxter. I'm Nancy Drew. Hi, Colin. If you're looking for Margarita, she's up on the Altana, the rooftop garden. Uh, what are you doing, if you, Colin? What are you doing, if you don't mind my asking? Right now, I'm restoring this 14th century mosaic, which means, without getting overly technical, I'm cleaning the tesserae that remain in place, repairing those that have been damaged, and replacing those that are missing with new ones custom crafted to match. Nerd. Just kidding, that sounds really interesting. What is a tesserae? You kind of lost me at tesserae. Simply put, tesserae are the individual tiles which comprise a mosaic. Oh. Restoring a mosaic. See, that's cool. Hmm. That sounds like a lot of work. Sounds like a lot of work. It's a phenomenal amount of work. However, just between you and me, I do this for free. I became fascinated with art in general and mosaics in particular when I was at Oxford. Oxford University. That's where I'm from, actually. Oxford, England. At Oxford. least, that's where I was born. I live here now and intend to do so for a very long while. Although I say that with no small amount of guilt. Why do you feel guilty? People like me and Helena are the reason true Venetians are slowly going extinct. We foreigners come to Venice, fall in love with her, and wind up staying. High demand for food and housing results in high prices, which in many cases means the people who were born here have to leave because they can no longer afford to live here. If I could be granted one wish, it would be to have been born here. That way I would feel entitled to live here. And I would know how to speak Italian. You don't speak Italian? Much as it shames me to admit it, no. Languages don't come easily to me. And since I am able to do what I do without knowing Italian... You know, I have some slides of various tesserae. Not only are they enormously informative, but they're also quite beautiful. Would you like to see them? Okay. Colin, I sort of like you. You seem like a sweet nerd, but I didn't come to have this conversation with you to feel, like, guilty about the gentrification of Venice. I'm pretty sure this is a kid's game. Um, should I look at the slides? I bet they're pretty. Let's look at them. Sure. Marvelous. Here we go. Mmm, looks like it was carved from amethyst. Interesting. Blue never looked so exquisite. That's pretty. I like that one. Mmm, what a yummy shade of yellow. Alright, this is getting weird. <laughs> Can I not do this anymore? Now that's what I call indigo. Um, thanks? Green may just be my favorite color. Um, I'm glad for you. I want to stop looking at slides now. Lovely shade of scarlet. I'm Gorgeous, like it was carved from a sunset. I'm trapped here forever with... Its color is what makes this one superb. With the mosaic nerd. Incredible. Just incredible. Colin, I already looked at that one. Thank you. Green may just be my favorite color. Yeah, it is. How do I stop? There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Almost looks like an no. emerald, doesn't it? No, no. <laughs> that was not that was not me like inviting you to show me more if slides. You like in Colin, go, take a this hint. One's for you. <laughs> okay. Um I should probably go. I should probably get going. Very well. I thought I had at long last found a kindred spirit, someone who shared my passion for beauty, for art, but you apparently are like everyone else, interested only in what something is worth instead of what it offers the soul. No, no, please. I took a stay, turn. but I really do need to be somewhere. Believe me, I think what you're doing is fascinating, and you obviously really know your stuff. In fact, that figurine in front of you, I've been dying to ask you about it. It's exquisite. What, this statuette? Yes, it is exquisite. It's an example of late Etruscan bronze work. No doubt cast some 2,200 years ago. 
I'm not sure how Margarita came to own it, but she's very fortunate. It's almost impossible to find Bronzetti of this quality outside a museum. You see, after they conquered the Etruscans, the ancient Romans melted down thousands upon thousands of statues like this just so they could make coins. Interesting. Shoot, I wish I had time to hear more. No, 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 no. You go on. We can talk more later. Oh, a parcel was just delivered for you. It's by the door. Thank you. Oh my god, I thought that was never gonna end. This guy. Whoa. What we got going on? Oh, I should be paying attention to you guys in the chat. Are you just accusing everyone of being the Phantom? Um, which sounds like a good plan, to be honest, because so far I've met one person in this game. And he's kind of a weirdo. Hi, new friend! I don't want to butcher your name, but thanks for following us. We're glad you're here. Uh, helping us solve a mystery and hanging out. Ooh. Um, my instinct was to click on that, but I think I'm not just going to eat random chocolates that I found laying on the table. <laughs> it seems like an irresponsible decision, and I think Nancy Drew is pr a pretty responsible young lady. Buongiorno. And again, welcome to Carnas Costa. I see you finally decided to get up. Why is everyone in this game so rude? Um, actually, I've been up. Actually, for a while. I've been up for a while. Good for you. I got up, showered, and came straight up here. If it's a daytime and it's sunny, no matter the time of year, this is where you will find me. They say the sun gives you wrinkles and worse. And that may be true, but it also makes you tan. To me, to be tiny is good. Your accommodations, they are to your liking? Wear sunscreen, kids. Um, you definitely should just not sit out in the sun all day and tan without, without sunscreen. It's bad for your skin. Um, yeah, I like my room. Oh, yes, the room is wonderful. That awesome you do not balcony. mind having a roommate? Eh. Not at all. Ah, you are just being polite. The last thing a young lady wants when she is on holiday is a roommate. Okay, tell me how I feel. I warned Prudence that you would have to share a room, but she said you had to come to Venezia this week and you had to stay here. And as we both know, what Prudence wants, Prudence gets. Have you gone outside the car yet? No, not yet. Just do not forget to take your key and lock the front door whenever you leave. This is not the Palazzo Grassi, but I do have uh, several valuable pieces of art. And with Il Fantasma, this phantom thief, running around and stealing everything, I prefer not to take any chances. Oh, I like this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll lock the door when I leave, but this is the thing I really want to say. I met the guy who's restoring the big mosaic in the main room. He's pretty intense. He is Colin intense. Baxter? <sighs> I do not know how any man can find happiness looking at pieces of painted rock all day. Talking to him, it's like taking a sleeping pill. Que barba. But they say he is good. And so he works for me. Oh, man. Everyone is so rude. Um, who? They say he is good. Okay. Who are they? Everyone I know. All my friends on casas like this one. And since something is always in need of repair, we are constantly on the lookout for good workmen. And when we find them, we trade them back and forth like you Americans trade recipes for cookies. Olivia von Helstein raved about the work he did for her. And what is good enough for the Countess of Schlosselbeck is more than good enough for me. Good to know. I'm gonna go explore. Guess I'll be going. Padronissimo. And Nancy, that blouse you are wearing. You should change it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't... Italy has not been friendly to me so far. Why is she being so rude? Is this one? That's not my room. Oh, I've already gone though. I went too far. Yeah, that's my room. Do I have another blouse I can wear? Because of... I'm always suspicious when the phone rings. Hello? Hello, is this Nancy? Miss Rutherford, yes, it's Nancy. How are you? Well, to be honest, I'm rather peeved. 
Were you or were you not call me just as soon as you were settled in there at the car? I have upset I'm sorry, Prince. I should have called, but I've been very busy. I've literally and been awake I've for been ten minutes, leave me alone. Worried. I was afraid Margarita had allowed my beloved Carnus Ghost to fall into such a state of disrepair that it was no longer habitable. Oh, no, no, the car is fine. Oh, that's a relief. So, how goes the case? Captain Vrasica said he was going to send you a parcel. Has it arrived? Actually, I'm not sure. I, I haven't about checked my parcel. yet. You really must get to work, Nancy. As the chairwoman of the Society for the Protection and Renovation of Venetian Antiquities and Culture, I am outraged at these thefts of Venice's most cherished treasures. I talked you up quite a bit, you know. Both the GDIF and the local gendarmerie are expecting great things from you. As am I. No one wants this phantom scoundrel captured more than I do. I'm flattered, Miss Rutherford, and I'll do my best. She but does it's not sound like, I'm like a Miss superhero Piggy. or anything. Like I told you, I just like solving mysteries. It's not like I'm a superhero. Just see that you solve this one in a timely fashion, dear. We leave on a cruise in two weeks, and I shan't be able to enjoy a second of it until I know all those stolen works of art have been recovered. Okay, I do remember. Prudence Rutherford from some of the other games and I don't remember if she's always been this weird um that's quite the voice though I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing as it happens I'm writing my memoirs they shall be called the principles of prudence unfortunately this has necessitated my hiring an assistant you really must Stop thinking bad thoughts about Ginger. Yes, you are. Just look how she's shaking. The other day, poor Ginger mistook the shapeless lump of leather my assistant called her purse for a doggy toy and ripped it to shreds. Why is everybody throwing she so much shade about other people's her. clothes? Although, believe you me, Ginger did her a massive favor. Anyway, if you ever cannot reach me, it means we are hard at work. The bun chance. Yes, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. That's the one that I've done with her in it. Okay, um, so that's Prudence Rutherford. Uh, you do have the opportunity in this one to like to call people. Um, that's somewhere in yeah, it's in my journal that I have here. Um, I've got phone numbers. I can literally go over and uh, call people from the phone, talk to them. These games are fun um, because every th every single one, even though they like they reference back to the other games and everything, they're sort of their own little self-contained thing. Um, so like in this one, I don't currently have like a cell phone or anything. So if I wanted to make a phone call, I would have to come back to my hotel room. Um, some of them, they're cell phones. Some of them, they're computers. Some of them, they're not. I think this one, um, this one is more modern. I didn't change my shirt like I meant to. Um, yeah, some of them have like cell phones and computers, and some of them don't, different levels of technology, so they kind of exist outside of time a little bit, which is fun. I'm gonna put on a different shirt. This doesn't go with that belt, though. I have to take my fancy belt off. I don't think that looks better than the purple one, but I'll put on my nice shoes. There we go. Now I look better. I guess. Whatever. Um, but so, yeah, you do have this great little journal, um, which Nancy takes notes in. I don't think Nancy takes good enough notes. Um, I do find myself playing these games and, like, writing down a lot of things in a notepad, much like D&D. &D. Um, you also have this great thing in Junior Detective where you have a task list, um, which once you are done with something... All done! You can check it off. Check. So I have to see what's in the parcel waiting for me. So I have my little checklist of things that I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Go outside. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Shoot, I'm sorry. Here, I'll get those. That actually scared me a little bit. Sorry, I just killed my roommate. Here's your mail. You must be my newly arrived roommate. I'm Helena Berg. She is I'm Nancy Drew. Sorry for all the commotion when I came in last night. My plane got in three hours late. No need to worry about waking me up. I can sleep through almost anything. Well, 
I'm sure you have things to do and places to go, so I won't keep you. Oh, by the way, there's a parcel for you in the entryway. Ciao. Ciao. All right, I want to know. That's probably it. A bank card. Okay. Please visit there immediately so we may activate your account. Okay, I'll do that. And also, there's always newspapers laying around in this game, which I think is really fun. Oh man, he's stealing stuff from a convent. That's not nice. Not cool. I mean, it's not cool to steal from anybody, but let's look here again. Okay, got All my, done. Got my parcel. Talk more to my roommate and go to Piazza San Marco to activate my account. That sounds like spy stuff. Um, I want to do that. But the mail is addressed to Killian. You're right, Alex. What if she's lying about her identity? <sighs> she might be the Phantom. Alright, so I have to get over to Piazza San Marco. This is a thing that's in some of the games, not all of them, but the ones that take place in, like, larger areas. Um, some of them just take place in, like, a single hotel or, like, a castle or something. Um, but this one sort of takes place in this whole kind of Venetian area. Um... The blue lines, I think, are like gondolas that you can travel over the water. Uh, the No, that's the red ones down here. R2, I guess. I don't know. But they're connected. So you have to sort of like make your way to wherever you want to go. The ones with the little eyeballs are places you can actually like stop and see things and do things. So yeah, Haunting of Castle Malloy. That's a good one. I have done that one. I was thinking of Treasure in the Royal Tower, where you spend like the whole game in a like a castle that's been turned into a hotel or something. It's been a long time since I played these games. So we just walked a long way to get to Piazza San Marco. And I would like to see what's here. Oh, that looks like the... Oh! Bird seed. You can feed the birds. Uh, this looks like the bank. I <laughs> like the random just like Italian sentence that's happening in the background. Do not like the way that security camera just looked at me. Okay. I need a card. You have a card. It's in your pocket. So this is your little inventory where you keep all of your things. You have your Italian dictionary, so I can translate things from Italian because Nancy's 18 and doesn't speak Italian, neither do I. Um, the key. I didn't lock the door when I left. There were people there, it's fine. Um, my bank card, and then things with the eye on them are things you can actually like open and look at. So that's fun, that's my little case file, in case I forget what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this bank card in here. Whoa. All information below is confidential. Use your discretion when discussing this case with anyone other than your contact, Sophia. Crime dossier. Oh, this is some spy stuff. Love it. Love it. All right. Uh, crimes attributed to the Phantom. Disabling complex alarm systems. Do, do, do. What else is in here? Um, stealing that. He stole a sword. The alarm system was set but did not go off. There was no sign of forced entry. The guards saw nothing unusual on security cameras. Caped figure seen on nearby street just after midnight. Ah, uh, Verdi's Rigoletto. That's the chalice that was just stolen. Cool. Um, instructions. You will be provided with a pair of binoculars and a PDA. Using the binoculars, you will watch Antonio Fongo. A suspect in the recent thefts attributed to the Phantom. Oh, we have a suspect, so that's good. Um, the window of his office is in the Argon building and can clearly be seen from the rooftop of the Condes Costa, which is where I'm staying. How convenient. I don't even have to go anywhere. Um, let's see. The, when he's in his office, my PDA will 
alert me to his arrival so I can go on the roof and spy on him. So this is the guy I'm going to spy on because I'm a spy. What up? Ah, oh, binoculars. Yay, PDA. All right. Did I get my bank card back? Okay, yeah, I put it back. Wow. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. Hi, random. This kiosk could come in handy if I ever need any reference books. I don't currently think I need any reference books, but uh, I will remember this. So let's... Actually, it's on my checklist. Did that. All done. I read everything, I think. All done. It won't check it off if you haven't done it, which is really convenient, because if it says read everything I'm supposed to at the ATM machine and you haven't read everything, it'll be like, I can't check that off yet. And I'll be like, crap, I have to go back. But it's really helpful if you get stuck. Wait for the police to page me on my PDA and then go to the roof to watch Fongo and then try to talk to my roommate. Well, I guess we'll just go back to the car, which is what we're calling it. The music is fun. There's a couple other places I can go it would be Campo del Friari and the Rialto Market, but we'll go hang out at the car for right now. Oh, I have my little coin purse up here. I have 200 monies. I don't know what the money is in Italy. <gasps> That's my pager. Antonio Fongo is in his office. Time to go to work. All right, let's do some spying. Going upstairs. Oop. Oh, I'll talk to my roommate later. Euros? Oh. It doesn't say. That's okay. I'm too far away to see anything. Well, yeah, that's why you have binoculars, Nancy. Duh. Come on. I don't. Am I flying? <laughs> okay. Nancy, going what are you doing? <laughs> should, should I just be honest or just say, I I'm spying on someone? Um, I, yeah, that's what I was saying. I, it was an amazing, an amazing camera sweep. These are professional Italian FBI binoculars. Um, I think I'm going to say studying the architecture. Studying the architecture. That's what I want to be, an architect. So I'm kind of boning up. You Americans always busy doing something. Get noia. Leave me alone. He's just sitting at his desk. <laughs> Brazy. Look, a pigeon. This looks interesting. I mean, it looks like a pigeon, but okay. <gasps> Carrier pigeon. That's suspicious. I'm pretty sure that guy has, like, a phone. I'd better go somewhere private and report this. Ciao. This is Nancy Drew. Yes. Is this Detective Leporace? Si, but please, to you I am just Sophia. I'll remember that, Sophia. You have something to report? I think so. While I was watching Fongo, a pigeon flew to the window outside. Fongo got up from his desk, went over to the window, and took something off the pigeon's leg. Something very small. He removed something from the pigeon's leg. You are positive? Yes, he removed something, kind of studied it, then left the office. Maybe he is using a trained pigeon to communicate with someone. Yes, this could be true, because we know that by phone he talks to almost no one. Here is what we will do. I will deliver to you a tracking device. You will sneak into Fango's office when he is not there and feed it to the pigeon. After that, you can use your PDA to see in what direction it has flown. You want me to feed a tracking device to a pigeon? I'm also it confused, Nancy. It will be Nancy. very, very tiny. But I do not want to leave it at the ATM. If you go there too much, people will get suspicious. 
So we will leave it for you in the costume store in Campo Santa Maria Famosa. It will be hidden among the things there. You will have to find it. How will I know what it looks like? Very soon, I will send a picture of it to your PDA. But you must locate the device quickly. If you do not find it in time, it will destroy itself. If that happens, we will hide another device. Your PDA will show you where we have hidden it. You want me to feed a tracking device that self-destructs to a pigeon? Nancy asking the, the right questions. The self-destruct mechanism will automatically deactivate when you pick it up. And do not worry. The device will not hurt the pigeon after it is swallowed. Good. And I'll be able to track it using my PDA. Sounds like this thing is going to come in very handy. It is from the GDIF. Military equipment is good. Well, guess I'm on my way to Campo Santa Maria Formosa. After you have fed the tracking device to the pigeon, you must do two things. You must find out where the pigeon goes when it leaves fungos, and you must discover what it is carrying. Call me when you know these things. You are good to help us, Nancy. We are very short-handed. Carnevale keeps the police very busy. I'll do my best. Ciao. What is this, like, Mission Impossible shit? All right. Cool. Um. So I spy. All done. I watched him. All done. I reported him. Did that. I'm just checking off everything on my to-do list. This is going great so far. It will inevitably go horribly wrong. Okay. Go to the costume store and find the tracking device. I'll talk to my roommate on the way out. See if she has anything interesting to say. I saw her sitting. Yeah, there she is. Hello, Nancy, right? So, how do you like Venice? Mm, that's all right. Just kidding. Wow, oh, it's incredible. I think Venice is the most fascinating city in the world. Its history, its art, its layout. Everything about it is so rich and so beautiful and says so much about human ingenuity. I absolutely love it. Cool. Where are you from? Where are you from? I was born in Austria, but I'm from all over, really. England, France, Germany, and someday Venice will be my home. Okay, Austria. That's close. Every time I come here, I make an effort to meet new people. Having friends is very important to me, you see? But I don't want to move here until I can afford my own palazzo. So, until that day, I shall have to content myself with staying here wherever I can and as often as I can. What do you do for a living? I'm a journalist. Right now, I live in Hamburg because that's where the offices of your event magazine are. I do most of my writing for them. Cool. But I know far more about Venice than I do about Hamburg. In fact, I know more about Venice than most Venetians do. I know where the best souvenir stands are, the nicest glass shops. Yeah, I'll make you a list of the cheapest cafes. No, no, that's okay. You don't need to do that. You don't want to know where the cheapest cafes are? Are you sure you're American? I'm just that not felt into like a dig. things, that's all. I see. Oh, but Rude. you could tell me what your very favorite spot in Venice is. I'd love to know that. Oh, well, let me think. That would have to be Campo San Paolo. There's something, I don't know, something very avant-garde about it that's quite charming. Let's talk about the Phantom. I'm pretty sure you're the Phantom. So what do you think about all this Phantom Thief stuff? I probably shouldn't say this, but I think it's great. A caped figure darting down walkways beside moonlit canals, melting mist-like into the shadows, escaping not with stolen money, but stolen art. It's all just so wonderfully Venetian. Little suspicious. Oh, there, uh, Helena. You condone what he's doing? No, of course not. It just captures the imagination, that's all. As far as crime sprees go, this one is rather refreshing. Il Phantasma hasn't physically hurt anyone, that's and true. has some very interesting ideas when it comes to what's worth stealing. In fact, it's altogether possible this phantom could turn out to be a woman. Whew, that would be a story I'd write for free. I feel like... I feel like I've solved the mystery. I feel like she's the phantom. This will take 17 twists and turns before I get there. Since you're a journalist and you're right here, aren't you tempted to write a story about this phantom thief person? As a matter of fact, I am writing a story for your vault. So, have you dug up anything juicy? 
This case is so huge, the police are swamped. Apparently, they've got people coming in from all over the world to help track down leads. My contacts at the police station are too busy to give me the time of day, let alone a juicy tip. However, one of my non-police sources just told me something very interesting. He said the word on the street is that the next thing the thief steals is going to be a person. He's going to kidnap someone? A very wealthy someone. At least, that's a rumor. Well, that's not good. Should not kidnap people. Do you talk to this Colin guy? Do you talk to Colin Baxter very much? Non sequitur. I try to talk to him, but he's so focused on his work. Having a decent conversation with him is virtually impossible. He's literally like 20 Once, feet behind me right now. I feigned an interest in what he was doing, and the next thing I knew, he was showing you his test ray slides. Yes! Girl. They went on and on and on! It was nightmarish. I felt like a seabird that had landed in an oil slick and couldn't fly away. The only way I could escape was to confess that I found the slides less than fascinating. Which hurt his feelings terribly, I'm afraid. But it couldn't be helped. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. The man is obsessed. Which is a shame, really. After all, he's not bad looking. And there's a touch of intrigue about him. What do you mean? Once, while he was working, his cell phone rang. He immediately left the room to take the call, but as he was leaving, he picked up by saying, this is Justin, not Colin. Justin. Ah, uh, Colin's lying about his identity. I have two people in this room are lying about their identities. I'm not comfortable staying in this place anymore. I feel like everyone here is a criminal. He's using a fake name? Either Justin or Colin. One of them's fake. What a development. She she is very, very... Well, actually, Sean. Hey, thanks for joining us in the chat. Uh, she's Austrian. She was born in Austria. I should get going. Which is a country, I'm it's pretty sure. It's been a pleasure. Just pretty look it. Thank you. My boyfriend gave it to me. Boyfriend? You do have it all, don't you, Nancy Drew? Yeah, Helena. Okay. Well, that was an enlightening conversation. See, look, oh, done. Colin's literally standing right there, and we're just talking, talking crap about him. He can't hear us over the sound of his microscope. Okay. Um, but we're going to the costume store. Sorry about the coughing. I'm trying to mute myself. My allergies are getting the best of me this week, you guys. Campo Santa Maria Formosa and find the tracking device, which I probably shouldn't have stood here having this long conversation because it is going to self-destruct if I take too long to find it. And then I'll have to do this over again. Um, oh, let's go. Ah, uh, should I pay to... Oh, okay. So these are the different gondoliers you can hire. Luigi is free. That's the euro sign, isn't it? Guys, we were talking about that earlier. I'm the worst with stuff like that. So I guess Luigi is free, and then Romano costs five. Raimondo costs ten, and Timoteo costs fifteen. I want to know why, like, these gondoliers are more expensive <laughs> than the rest of them. I feel like we're going down a rabbit hole that I'm not prepared to go down this early in the day. We'll go with Luigi this time, and we'll see, uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Well, that wasn't nearly as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Well... Ooh, Bruno. He's different. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a ride with Bruno and see what happens. Liviamo, liviamo nel etico, lici che la bellezza infiora, e la fulgevol, fulgevol, ora si inebria voluta, liviamo nel dolci fremiti che suscita l'amore, poiché quell'occhio al cuore, Onnipotente va, libiamo amore, amore fra i quali ci più caldi bacciavra. 
Assassin! Worth it. That was worth it, I think. Well done, Bruno. And we're here. Ah, oh, maybe Luigi's the Phantom. I think you're right, though. No gondolier would work for free. Well, I don't actually know that. I'm not trying to make assumptions about all gondoliers, but I I feel good about paying 10 euros for that. Aren't they gonna text me? No? Well, I don't know what I'm looking for. Find the tracking device. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like they said they were gonna text me, like, a picture of it. Let's look at my notes. Trained pigeon... Okay. Sophia wants me to do four things. Find the tracking device. The PDA they gave me. Oh, maybe I guess I could use the tracking feature to find the tracking device. Maybe. No. Oh god. I think I waited too long. Oops. I haven't done that. I'm pretty sure that was it self-destructing. So we're gonna have to uh do that again. No, I just I just wanted to be outside. I didn't want to leave. Bug. Location. Melina's Rialto Market. Now, hold on just a second. I don't know what this means. Pigeon bug location, Bellina's Rialto Market. Oh, oh, I guess they put it in a different hiding spot because I took too long to find the first one. Alright, the singing was fun, but I don't want to do it again. Okay. Okay. Do I just have to find it? Because this is a lot of... Very small stuff. Hmm. Do you guys see anything that looks suspicious? Um, you can't click on the arrows. What that is gonna do, I think, is like tell you the direction that the tracker is going from where you are. I feel like if I were hiding something, where would I hide it? Oh gosh! What? How was I supposed to be able to find that? <sighs> okay, let's try <laughs> again. <laughs> Why is this game so hard? All right, third time charm. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Here's the thing, though, is that I can't. Oh. Haha! -ha! Got it. So my problem is that when it's got that, like, the yellow arrow like that, that means you could click and, like, do stuff, or when the magnifying glass has a red outline around it, or it turns into the hand, you can interact with stuff. When it's just that little blue arrow, you can't do anything. Just like one of those, like, find the hidden item things in, like, Highlights Magazine or something. But I got it. Alright. Check. So now, I've done everything else. These people are so loud. Uh, okay. Now we have to sneak into Fongo's office. Actually, 
I had a thought, you guys. What do you guys think about taking some bird food with us? Because I feel like if I just try to feed a pigeon a little, like, pill, it's not gonna eat it. I feel like this is here for a reason, and I'm gonna bank on that instinct. It probably doesn't actually matter, but I'm gonna try. Okay. We're walking, and we're walking, and we're going across the canal to... I think this is the right place. Yeah, the Argon building. Okay. So now... <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to have to pick this lock somehow. Pick the lock? I don't have any lock picks. Okay. What do people pick locks with that are not lock picks? I wonder if I can do the thing where you like slide a credit card in. I have this bank card. No? Okay. Not that. Hairpins. Ah, oh, I wonder. Do you guys think maybe I have bobby pins in my hotel room? That's really smart. We are gonna find out. Just random, like, people in the background. It's really funny to me. Okay, um, let's see. <laughs> Bone fingers. <laughs> yep. You guys are so smart. Way to go, team. Bobby pins in my closet. Smart. Alright, let's... Nancy is going to be in great shape by the time we leave Venice. Doing so much walking. Alright. It's dragon. Let's do Mbop pins. Alright. Oh, what? How many bobby pins does one person need? I only use bobby pins like maybe a few times a year and I probably have like a hundred of them or something in real life. Okay, I feel like- no, I've done a puzzle like this before. I think we have to line up the pins. Oh, it's one of those where I move these and the other ones move. That one moves by itself, that one moves by itself. How can I get- ah! Nope, too far. I did it! Yay! Those are fun. Alright, what do... She does probably just keep them for lockpicking, to be honest. Let's do some snooping. What's this? Binary. That's a weird thing to have framed on your wall. Mr. Fongo. What's this stuff? Ooh. Time to use my Italian dictionary! Oh, that's right! This is really fun um, aspect of some of these games. You carry around a language dictionary, and then when you interact with it, with the dictionary, it changes it to English, which I like. Aruba, Bermuda. Ooh, I wanna take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. I'm gonna stop down. <laughs> um, all right, nice hat with a feather in it. Let's see. The London School of Applied Technologies. Certificate of Merit in the field of digital data and storage transfer. So that must be why he has, like, computer stuff on his wall. Does anyone read binary? I wish. Oh, that one's in Italian. I have this fancy magic book. The University of Bologna. Oh, Masters of Computer Science. Good for you, Antonio. Get that degree. Okay, he's got a fish. Uh, what's that? Anything else I can click on? Just this. It's 
Silicon Music Box. That's definitely not going to come in handy later at all. Nice. I will remember that there. Cabinet. <gasps> Ooh. Wait a minute. Why are some of these crossed out? The Commedia Del Art masks. It's very interesting if you guys ever like get some time to read up on that stuff. It's super cool. Very interesting. Don't know why some of these are crossed out. Maybe this guy's not the Phantom. Maybe he's just a hitman. And he's taking out one by one a uh, Commedia Del Art troop somewhere in Venice. There's nothing in this cabinet. Why do you have this giant cabinet with just a poster in it, Antonio? That makes me think you're um, a murderer. Pigeon. I'm gonna try... Can I... Feed it? And put that in there? Maybe? I got too busy snooping, I forgot I was here to feed the pigeon. Did it work? It's not there anymore, so I guess it worked. Did that? Oh, look, it was in my checklist the whole time. Get a hairpin. Sometimes I think I overcomplicate things. I picked the lock. All done. It did work, okay. Check out Fongo's office, especially his computer. And this is why you should always pay attention to your <laughs> task list, kids, because sometimes it gives you the answers that you are searching for. But you know what? I feel pretty good about- Oh my gosh! <gasps> Fongo's coming back! Um... Empty cabinet. I'm hiding in a cabinet. That's why this cabinet was empty. <laughs> for me to hide in. It's got a nice, like, checkered suit on. Okay. Um, that's a really handy use for that uh, PDA beeping telling me when he's going to be back in his office. Oops. I should fix that. I don't... I want to know more about the masks. Okay, uh, we almost got caught there, Nancy. Let's not do that again. What is that? A fax machine? I want to go around his desk and look at his computer. It's not letting me. Can I go this way? Ah, there we go. Hmm. I don't know the password. Hmm. That's one of the masks. Maybe it's that mask. Which one is it? The one with the nose? <laughs> the one with the nose. Yeah, Savannah. Okay. Get yourself together. Is it one of the not cross out masks? Probably. <clears throat> is Scaramuccia, right? With the big nose? Or is it this one? I think it's this one. Ildatori? I'll try both. Thank you guys for typing those in chat because I'm not really that great at spelling things. Um, okay, let's try. Il Dottore. No? Scaramuccia? No? 
Make sure I'm spelling it right. El Capitano? Let's try the other ones. Okay, we try maybe I well Okay, it's not it's not Ildatori. I think I was spelling it right. Brikela? No. Ska Ra Mucha. No. Aha! Il Capitano. I like this computer that lets me just type in infinite passwords until I get the right one. Always empty your recycling bin. Or people will go through your stuff. Alright, in this guy's trash. On his computer. He cancelled... A flight... From Venice to Tahiti. Chest log. Ah, oh, interesting. Hello, Il Capitano. How about a nice game of chess? Krollmeister. That's a name that shows up in a lot of the games. Krollmeister is like the company, the guy that makes all of the everything, computers and equipment and stuff. Okay, so this is like a for the chess game. So this guy is being referred to as Il Capitano. So he cancelled a flight to Aruba. Interesting. Let's do more chess. How about a chess? I wanted to let you know- see, so somebody- this is Il Capitano, and so he's playing chess with somebody who's Scaramuccia. His friend Briella will be playing from now on. He is a much better player than I. So they're referring to each other as the masks from Commedia dell'arte. Okay, we can't play chess. That seems like pertinent information. I'm not sure what to do with that information, but it feels like something I need to remember. Let's go to the files. That's not what I thought was going to be in that drawer at all. What? These are for files. What are you doing? Looks like some cards are missing. How can you even tell, Nancy? Oh, I guess they're numbered one. What is this game? Cool, cool. What? Hmm. Yeah, so some of the cards are missing. So we've got... Yeah, Alex, you're right. You guys are smarter than me. So the one is missing, and then your tens are missing. I don't know what game this is. So what... Where are his cards? Maybe he just lost them. Interesting. I feel like I've found everything I'm gonna find. For now. Check. Yep. Okay, now I need to find the... Oh, I did figure out the password. Check. So I do have to follow the pigeon and recover the message that he put on it. Figure out what's going on with that music box. Maybe he just likes music boxes. Okay, let's focus on the pigeon, I think, for right now and figuring out... What's going on there? We can figure out how to use our tracking device. Aha! Uh -huh. See, so the arrows light up. So from here... Down... This one. This one. We'll try... here. 
Oh, I see all four of the arrows are lit up, which means the pigeon's probably here. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're gonna come back to the binary. I am interested in knowing what that binary is about. Uh, do, wh am I just supposed to like recognize this pigeon? Do you guys see a pigeon with something on its leg? <laughs> um. <laughs> Do I have more bird seed? No, I don't. I should have got some more bird seed. I don't. They're gonna fly away probably if I take too long. Maybe. Hmm. Activate the self destruct. <laughs> then I'll know which pigeon it is for sure. Um. Ah, oh, jeez. If I click, it's. Probably, I think. Gotcha. Ah. That was literally nothing but luck, you guys. I'm not even gonna take credit for that. I can't even, like, lie and take credit for that. Hello? What kind of message is that? I'd better call Sophia. <laughs> maybe this guy isn't, like, a murderer or anything. Like, maybe he and his friends just, like, really like Commedia del Art and are just, like, celebrating the good old days communicating by carrier pigeon. Nancy, you have tracked the pigeon. After it left Fongos, it flew to Campo Santa Margarita. It landed right next to this place called Casa de Giochi. Casa de Giochi. You are sure? Yeah. Is something wrong? Casa de Giochi is a private club owned by Enrico Tazza. The police suspect that he fences stolen goods for big criminals like Leo Macchiano. If Fongo is working for the Phantom, perhaps Tazza is working for him too. Look around this goes Casa deep. de Giochi, Nancy. Talk to Tazza Phrasing, if you Get on his good side. See how much you can find out without making him suspicious. Was the pigeon carrying a message? Yes, but all it says is hello in English, followed by an exclamation point. Hmm. There is a dot at the bottom of this exclamation point? Yeah? You must find a microscope and examine this dot, Nancy. If Fungo was sending a message to Tatsa, maybe it's hidden there. A microdot, of course. Of I'll course, a I'll microdot. Find a and take a look at it. If I do not hear from you, you will hear from me. Yeah, creepy tile guy does have the microscope. I do want to know what's on this. Oh, there was money in there. There's gold on them there benches. Um, ooh. Ooh, let's rifle through the dumpster. What am I doing? Ew. Ew. Somebody had a really dangerous scuba excursion. Keep those as a trophy, don't throw that away. Whoop. Wait just one minute. That's creepy tile guy. Scotland Yard. Justin Matthias Beaumont, a.k.a. Colin Baxter. Born in Oxford. Bachelor of Fine Arts. He stole a Renoir painting. He pleaded guilty, served a year in prison. Works as a private contractor, creating and restoring frescoes and mosaics. Frescoes and mosaics. He's an art thief. Sean, don't gamble away all your XP. Maybe it's like a... Okay, how is a Renoir only worth 7,500 pounds? Maybe it's like a tiny Renoir. I mean, if you're just good, Like, stealing paintings, I feel like, is really hard. But if you stole, like, a small painting, maybe you could just, like, put it in your pocket. Well, that's interesting. So he's an art thief, and I'm searching for an art thief. I feel like we got this case wrapped up. Anything else in the trash? The lesson I'm learning here is always rifle through the trash. There was something else in there. Turn my tracker off. Italian dictionary, go! Casa de Giochi, Enrico Tazza. We have received a request for a temporary employee and recommend our star pupil Samantha Quick. That's a cool name. I understand you are currently involved in a project and will thereby send her your way sometime after carnival so that you may recognize her 
Samantha will be wearing a red dress, white gloves, black sunglasses, and has blonde hair. We will send you details in a Swiss account for payment at a later date. Hmm. I don't know how this ties into everything else, but it feels important. How long can I stand here? That's it. Okay, that's it. I've gone through everything in this dumpster. Ah, uh, I don't have the code. What is that? Oh, propane. Dress up like her. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably gonna have to do that. Casa de Gioche. Can I go in here? Everybody's freaking me out with their security cameras. My name is Nancy Drew. But Samantha Quick can go in. I need a disguise. Oh man, all of a sudden I have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, okay. Don't know about the music box. I did the all pigeon done. thing. Meet Enrico Tazza at get on his good side, see if he's connected to the Phantom. Okay. That feels like undercover. Uh we should do the microscope. I did searched that. through the dumpster, which I feel good about. Translate the letter. All done. Alright, buy a red dress, white gloves, black sunglasses, and a blonde wig. So I can pretend to be this Samantha Quick person whom Enrico Tazza is expecting. Alright. This is like super spy business. All right, let's go back to the hotel, the car, and see if Colin Baxter. Another package? A gift for Il Dottore. I don't like this at all. I feel like I'm gonna get killed. Don't just eat random people's candy, Nancy. Okay, but so someone in this place is Il Dottore. So if Fongo is one of them, somebody here is one of them. This Enrico Tazza guy is probably one of them. It's all coming together. It's not all coming together. It was not my idea for her to stay here. Believe you me. She talking shit about me? They're talking about me. I shouldn't listen. She doesn't bother no, me. No, you should listen. Nor me. In fact, I rather like her. They like. But I'm me. going to anyway. <laughs> but I'm going to anyway. Most of her time on the roof, bothering me. She's always out there looking at buildings through binoculars. She says she wants to be an architect. Your choices come well, back later in the game, guys. She wants to learn about architecture. She certainly come to the right city. Which reminds me. The Restoration Council has finally responded to our plans for renovating the shower area. Would you rather get upset now or later? Please, later. I just ate. Anyway, I apologize for the trouble she made. If she bothers you, you tell me and I will tell her. Oh, she's fine. She's quite fine, actually. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Why is she in here talking shit about me? Margarita is ill to Torre. And she thinks I'm snooping around. I'm making a lot of assumptions here. Do you think Colin will let me, Colin slash Justin will let me use his microscope? Because I kind of upset him earlier by not standing around for three hours looking at the Tesseract. Not to be confused with the Tesseract, which I think is a different Nancy Drew game. What's well, creepy, them talking about me or me standing at the door listening to them talk about me? Would it be okay if I used your microscope? I have a very strict policy when it comes to my equipment. No one touches it but me. And now, you. I trust that was you, a twist. Nancy. Please, be my guest. Oh, thank you. I thought he was going to say no. Alright, so let's look at the micro dot. I'm not sure how Nancy knows what that is, but... Shapes? Is this wingdings? <gasps> Il Dottore requests you to change the safe room lock combination to 43556. Oh, she's quite fine, actually. Okay, the safe room lock combination, 43556. I don't know what safe room they're talking about, but if I ever find it, I think that's it. Yeah, I can definitely get in. 
Okay. Interesting. Let's see. See if the combination I found on the micro dot fongo attached to that pigeon opens anything interesting. I should tell Sophia that a box of chocolates meant for Ildatore was delivered here. Okay, did this. Did that! Aw, oh, jeez. Uh, should I confront Colin about the Justin thing? Like, I feel like if I just walk up to him and I'm like, I know your name is actually Justin, and I know you are an art thief, he's gonna be like, You caught me! and try to kill me. Or something. Don't confront him yet. We'll, like, hold on to that information for, like, a pertinent moment. <sighs> it keeps taking me to that door. It's not the door I want to go in. I want to go in the door next to it. Yeah, okay. Do it, Colin. Oh, man. <sighs> what did I come in here to do? Oh, right. But save first. I should save my game. I sure have. The message, which was written in English, said, Il Dottore requests you to change the safe room lock combination to 43556. Il Dottore? Yes, which is really interesting, because in his office, Fongo has a poster of Commedia dell'arte masks. He's crossed out all but five of the masks, and among the ones that aren't crossed out are the Brigella mask, the mask the Phantom wears, Right. And the mask for Il Dottore wasn't crossed out either. And it was in the middle, like it was more important than the others. Okay. And when I went back okay. to the place where I'm staying, a box of chocolates had just been delivered for someone named Il Dottore, which means it's very possible that Il Dottore is one of the people at the Canos Costa. Perhaps Fango and the Phantom and whoever else they are working with are going by the names of Commedia dell'arte characters. Yeah, that's what I just said. It would said. make it easier to secretly communicate Sophia. with each other. And is that true? Perhaps those chocolates are a message of some kind. And if Il Dottore was at the center of that poster you saw, perhaps the person the message was meant for is the ringleader. Just what I was thinking. Here is what we will do. I will have a technician hide tracking devices and objects these people are likely to carry around with them. Then, when we know which of them is Il Dottore, we will activate the appropriate device and be able to follow him. Awesome! Let's see, Helena's always writing, so for her I could plant a bug in her pen, maybe. And Margarita is always sunning herself, so you could hide a bug for her in a sunglasses case. But for Colin? For Colin, you could bug a mosaic tile. You know, a tessera? He's likely to carry a mosaic tile on his person? If it's from me, he will. <laughs> Long story. That is manipulative, Nancy. Nancy. I, will have I our like it. Prepare the two bugged objects and the device which you will hide in the pen. Then leave them for you in the Banca del Oro ATM. You should give them to each person as soon as you get them. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed. My fingers are always crossed. That must be a hard way to live, Sophia. Fingers are always crossed. All right. So, since we know one of the people in the car that is not me. <gasps> Maybe I'm Il Dottore, wouldn't that be a twist? One of those three people is Il Dottore and is working with the Phantom. So we're gonna plant tracking devices on all three of them. And then we figure out which one it is, we'll activate that tracker and be able to track them down and uh, arrest them. Don't know how we're gonna figure out which one it is, but we're going to. You do save in this game, which is actually a thing that I should do. I'm just gonna name this Savvy. And save. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the Oprah of uh, bugging my, my friends, I guess. Um, but you do save. It's a good idea to save. Um, there is occasionally, I'll pull up the file creep, but you can see these like second chance saves that it creates. So when you're in a situation where you're under duress, like for example, when Fongo was coming into his office and I was definitely trespassing in there, snooping through his stuff. If you get caught, then you have to start over. So it creates a second chance save for you. So you click, you want a second chance and it reloads and you can try the, the puzzle or the time sensitive thing or whatever it is again. She's standing there. Oh wait, I have to go to the ATM and get the, the bugs first. Check. 
All right, let's go to the spy ATM. Which was... Crap, I don't remember where it was. Piazza San Marco. I feel like... This is always a problem I have, I can't ever remember where anything is. Sophia's just sitting on the other side of the ATM waiting for you to call her. Yeah, she's probably like, that's her job, she just sits on the other side of the ATM and she like, puts things through for me and... Waits for me to call. Then that's her job. I'm pretty sure it was here. Yay, first try. The camera freaks me out. I don't trust it. Bienvenue. Welcome. Pick up. Okay, let's see. A sunglass case. A tessera. And a bug to put inside Helena's pen. Okay. This Colin guy, Colin slash Justin, is really gonna end up having a crush on me, and I don't feel good about that. <gasps> I should call Ned. We haven't talked to him yet. I haven't needed to. We'll call him just for fun. So, depending on the story, there are different people like back home that you can call. Ned Nickerson is Nancy's boyfriend. Um, sometimes you can call her best friends, Bess and George. Sometimes you can call uh, Frank and Joe Hardy, the Hardy Boys, who have their own series of books and sometimes do crossovers with Nancy Drew. All right. Let's call Ned. I feel like we should check in with him. <laughs> you do actually dial the phone in this game. The realism is staggering. Hello? Hi, Ned. Or should I say, buongiorno? Hey, Ned. I was hoping you'd call. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Sort of. I mean, I'm in Bayport, staying at Frank and Joe's, just like you arranged. You sound funny. What's wrong? My research is going great. It's just that, well, in order to get over to the hospital yeah, library, I've been They're having awesome. to take the bus. What happened to your car? What happened to your car? Joe happened to my car. Oh, no. He's been tinkering with it? If Joe Hardy is a tinkerer. You mean disassembling the engine and possibly the transmission and strewing the parts all over that closet in the basement he calls his workshop? Yes, he's been tinkering with it. That's not good. Ned, I told you. I said whatever you do, don't let Joe do any tinkering. I, I didn't know that's what you meant. He said he knew exactly how to fix that funny noise my car's been making, so I said great. I thought he knew what he was doing. He does know what he's doing. It's just gonna take him like half a century to do it. But hey, you're taking mass transit. That's good. Yeah, Yeah, I know. I'm fine. And I'm sure my car will be fine too. So how's it going there? It's great. Oh, thank you for the locket. Hey, before I Ned. forget, thanks again for the locket. I haven't taken it off since you put it on me there at the airport. Oh. Good. That was kind of the That's idea. That's nice. I just wanted you to have a little reminder of home. Well, more specifically, of me. I don't need any reminders, Ned, but thank you. It really is beautiful. Even the guy I sat next to on the plane over here who played solitaire the whole way liked it. It passed the semi-neurotic but otherwise thoroughly impartial geek test? Yes! I feel called out <laughs> by that statement. Um, uh, Give Ned the rundown of what Want to know doing. what my assignment is? You bet. I'm supposed to do surveillance on a guy named Antonio Fongo. Surveillance? Wow. The police suspect he has something to do with the thefts being attributed to the Phantom. They page me every time they see him go into his office so I can watch him through binoculars from the roof of the place where I'm staying and report in if he does anything suspicious. Me too, Joe. So has he done anything suspicious? If you call receiving messages carried by pigeons suspicious, then yes, he sure has. He's using pigeons to communicate with someone? In this day and age? Well, if he is up to something and thinks the police may be tapping his phone, which they are... They are. It actually kind of makes sense. It just sounds so... Messy? 
That's the word. Hmm. Breaking news. Breaking news! It looks like one of the people with whom Antonio Fongo has been secretly communicating is someone here at the car. It may even be the person who's been orchestrating all the heists the Phantom has pulled. You mean one of your comrades could be a major criminal? Yes! Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. Oh, I'm Nancy. not happy. I'm just excited. You know, nervous. Nancy's like, yes, uh, I'm staying in a hotel so with a criminal. Now? The GDIF wants me to plant bugs on everyone at the <coughs> car. That way, if the police turn up something solid against one of them, they can activate their bug, track them down, and make an arrest. I liked it a lot better when all you had to do was watch somebody through binoculars. Listen, okay, we won't talk about my I better right get to work. Tell Joe I said hi, okay? I'll let him know you called and tell him what you've been doing. Take care. Bye. So that's fun. Sometimes I just like to call up my friends and talk to them. Can't ask them for hints sometimes, but I feel like we're doing pretty good on our own. Okay, let's give Colin his tracking device. Hello, Nancy. I came across this. I came across this Tessera and thought you might like it. It's quite beautiful. All the more because it came from you. Thank you, Nancy. I shall treasure it. Nope. Let's... Oh, uh, yeah, bye. I've kept you long enough. What's his name? What's whose name? The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. I don't feel good about this guy at all. <gasps> She's gone. Put this in your pen. All right. I know, right? Oh, she has a boyfriend. Let's never talk to her again. Um, you can be friends with women, Colin Justin. Hello again. Do you always wear that locket? Do you like it? It is just that. Uh, what is well? What is your when problem? One lives in Venezia. One becomes so used to true beauty that anything less tends to stand out like uh, dirt on a white rug. I do not like her. At all. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of questions. Oh, let's give her the sunglass case. I saw this case and thought you might like it to keep your sunglasses in. You are giving me a gift? You do not have to do this, Nancy, but... I like gifts. And this one, it is very nice. Yeah, feel guilty. Grazie. I hope you feel guilty about uh, talking shit about my clothes all the time now. Um, let's see, who's Il Dottore? Who is Il Dottore? Dottore means doctor. Uh, what doctor are you talking about? There's a box of chocolates downstairs for Il Dottore. Someone must have left them here by mistake. Has anything else for Il Dottore ever been delivered here? I am up here all day. Something gets delivered, something does not get delivered. I do not know. I do not care. Don't you live here? <laughs> um, should I ask her if she knows that Colin was in prison? He is working for her. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to leave for right now. I'll think about it. I'll stop pestering you now. Good, good. Rude. Not a fan of her. Okay. Uh, so we got the Check. bugs. The combination. All done. And I did that. Okay. So I've successfully planted tracking devices on everyone I can think of. And um we will see where it goes from here. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, get something to drink and uh, come back and play maybe a little bit more. So um, thanks for hanging out and I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Hi again, everybody. I'm back. And, uh, 
We are gonna continue for a little bit longer, I think, this Nancy Drew excursion. Um, so for our friends who maybe haven't been in the chat the whole time, welcome, hello. Um, I am currently playing Nancy Drew, the Phantom of Venice. Oh, and I meant to, I guess I said this a little bit earlier, but um, I have several of these games. And if you guys like watching them, I would like to continue streaming them because I have a lot of fun uh, playing them. It's really fun, really kind of relaxing, occasionally stressful, but I like the stories and I think it's a fun little like game. You c I can probably play these in like two or three sittings generally. Um, but essentially I just posed like a few of the titles to the rest of the Game Nights crew and they voted on this one, so that's why we're playing this one. Um, but I've got a lot of other ones and hopefully we can continue to uh, sit around and solve mysteries together in the future because I think this is a lot of fun. And I hope you guys too, do too. One day I'll learn to speak in complete sentences when people are looking at me. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of things we got to do. Nancy, me and Nancy here. Look at all the stuff we've accomplished today though. I mean, I feel pretty good about that. So, still coming back to that music box. Not really sure what that was about. Um, Got to get into the Casa de Gyoki, Gyoki, I think, um, and see if Tatsa is connected to the Phantom. I gotta get my disguise before I can do that and figure out what is going on, actually. Um, I hear any... There we go. There's the music. It was just really quiet. Gioki? Casa de Gioki? Okay, okay. I like that. Okay, so let's, um... Crap, I got turned around I don't know where the door out is. It's this door. <laughs> so let's go... I guess back to that costume shop. It feels like that was placed there for a reason. Where was the costume shop? Campo Santa Maria Formosa. Come on, Luigi, let's go. Alright. I hope I have enough money for all this stuff. Okay, what do I need? Uh, white gloves, black sunglasses, a blonde wig, and a red dress. Man, this stuff is expensive! Alright, here's some gloves. There's only five. Blonde wig, red dress. Right. Sunglasses. No sunglasses. Where can I get sunglasses? Maybe I have some in my hotel room? I feel like I would bring sunglasses on vacation, right? Well, I guess this isn't vacation, but I feel like I would bring sunglasses with me. Hmm. I gotta come back here to change clothes anyway, so... Man, I need some more money. Those aren't gonna go with the outfit. Okay. Now we're looking fancy. Fancy Nancy. Gloves. Um, wig is probably in hats, yeah. Wig. Guess I'm just gonna wear the shoes I have on. And sunglasses? Maybe? No, black sunglasses. So those aren't gonna work. Darn it. Uh. Well guys, where? I'm gonna keep this outfit on though, because I look fancy. Where can I get some sunglasses? I'm just 
gotta be... I know there's other, like, shops and stuff. Where is that kiosk? That, like, tourist place. Is that down here? Hmm. Walking, 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 walking. Does it let go? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunglasses. Boom. Easy peasy. Why are you... Oh, when it beeps that means Fong goes in his office, right? Let's go back and spy on him some more. Big fan. I feel like... I got a lot of pieces of the puzzle right now. But I don't really know how they all fit together. Oddio, devo andare alla stazione. Sai dove è la stazione? The newspaper is gone, but the chocolates are still there. Yeah, I see you flashing down there. Let's go do some more spying. Again with the. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. That's sweet. Ooh, the pigeon's back. This looks interesting. Nothing new. I guess that's just if I missed it the first time. Okay, well. Did that. Got that. Did that. Did that. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put on my disguise and we'll go infiltrate this Casa de Giochi. Oh god. I'm really afraid that creepy Colin is gonna like comment on my fancy dress or something. Come on. There we go. Alright, now I look like a spy. Let's go do some good old-fashioned, uh, infiltration. And lying about our identity. I forgot where the game place was. Dang it. Oh. Campo Santa Margarita. Which is over here. I'm the worst at this map. You're under arrest for identity theft. I think as long as I don't like... Maybe I'll turn to a life of crime. I mean... What is your name? Samantha Quick. You are early, but please come in. Enrico is at the scopa table. I'm in. This is good. This is a good start. Oh, ah, sono Enrico Tazza. Benvenuta a Venezia. I'm sorry, but if it's all right with you, I'd prefer to speak English. Of course, whatever you wish. What a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you until after Carnevale. Let's not lay it on too thick, Nancy. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Oh, of course not. The sooner you get to work, the sooner you... We... Will be compensated. What does that mean? So, you're not only young and attractive, but enthusiastic as well. Tell me more about yourself, Samantha. Hmm. Well, let's try. Well, I'm from the States, as you can tell. And I'm going to school in Switzerland. And now I'm here. And I think that's all that matters, don't you? Nancy Drew, because play, frankly, cool. telling my life story to someone wearing a mask is just a little too freaky for me. I, feel I like understand. It. Besides, having never met you before, I would have no way of knowing if what you tell me is a lie or the truth. I always wear the same costume for Carnevale. Why? Because I'm a very superstitious man. I believe that always doing things a certain way brings good fortune. For instance... I never discuss business with anyone unless and until that person beats me at the game of Scopa. 
Are you familiar with the game? Why does it always come down to this? I'm not going to tell you until you beat me Never at heard this game. It. It's a card game, very popular in Venice. We play it with the traditional Italian deck of 40 cards. There are four suits it's in our Scopa deck. Coins, cups, swords, and clubs. Each suit has ten cards. Seven, the most valuable card. Six, five, four, three, two, and ace. There are also three face cards. Valet, knight, king. When you are taking tricks during the game, each card is worth what it says. With a valet worth eight, a knight nine, and a king ten. However... For scoring at the end of the game, sevens are the most valuable, followed by sixes, aces, fives, fours, threes, twos, then all face cards. For scoring, these are called primes. To play the game, three cards are dealt to each player, then four cards are placed face up in the play area. If three kings appear, the cards are re-dealt. The player who did not deal the cards goes first. When it is your turn, you must play one card and one card only from your hand. Now, you have a two, and there is a two in the play area. So you will play your two and take a trick. I discard a valet worth eight. You cannot make a match, so you discard your three. I discard the two. Now, because you have a knight in your hand, which is worth nine, and there is a six and a three in the play area, six plus three equals nine. Which means you have a match and you take a trick. I discard my ace and because we are both out of cards, I deal us both three more cards. Ah, you have a seven in your hand. You also have an ace, which is worth one, a four and a two in the play area, which add up to seven. But there is also a seven in the play area. So, which do you match with your seven? The three cards that add up to seven or the seven? The rules say, when presented with such a choice, you must take the trick by collecting the single card. And so, you match your seven card with the seven card in the play area and take a trick. I make a match with the valet and take a trick. You have yet another seven in your hand. Now, you match it with the ace, the four, and the two and take a trick. And since you have taken the last card in the play area, you say Scopa and get a point. We continue to play by discarding and taking tricks until all 40 cards have been played. At that point, we count the points we have won by taking tricks and getting scopas. The first person to get 11 or more points wins. If no one has 11 or more points, the deck is shuffled. The other person deals, and we play another round. Are you ready to play? That was a lot of rules. <laughs> Enrico. Um, friendly reminder, these games are, are for kids. They're marketed towards kids. Okay, I feel like I can figure out. I'm not gonna go through the rules again. I feel like I can figure you it out. You bet. Okay, okay, okay. So it's all about matches. Gotta match my numbers. Sevens are valuable. Aces are valuable. And then they go from there. Okay... Feel like I don't. None of these add up to ten, right? No. Four. No. One. No. Man. I feel like we just started, and I already got a bad hand. Oh man. Hmm. Eight. Nine. Eleven. I feel like. Okay. I can get... Okay, wait. I think I want to get the four, because then we're counting points. The face cards are only worth one. Right? I'll try the four. Take. Got one. Um, so I'm going to take the ten, then. Pick four. Okay, so I gotta discard my eight then. Oh, I'm seven. I wanna keep that seven. So I'm gonna take these. 
Yay. I can take my three back. All right. Now we're getting somewhere, I think. Four. Yeah. If I put this down, he doesn't take my three and get both these cards back. Aha! Six plus three is nine. Take. Okay, okay. No! Scopa! Dang it. So he gets an extra point. Ah, it's really hard to, like, track <laughs> points in this game. Oh, yes. Mine. Okay. Bruh. Mm. No We've lose. played all our cards. I took the last trick, so I get all the cards left on the table. That's just. Did you just make that rule up? You get one point for having the seven of coins. Oh my gosh. That's it. I get one point for having the most tricks. I just lost this game now, so hard. Let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable well, tricks, that. Okay, so I get one off. point. And lastly, we score the scopas. Okay. So he, oh, we play again. He has three and I have one. So I'm not that far behind. Okay, I'm gonna take these, because I want that. Scopa! Dang it! <sighs> Oh, yes, yes, seven of coins. That's good. Take. Uh, so I guess I want... I also want, like, the full set. Like, if I can get all the coin cards, is that good? I feel like it is. Why do you always get to go first? So I can't... Okay, no. I was gonna see if I could do, like, multiples from my hand and then take one off the table, but I guess not. Well, there's six, though. Four, two, six. Take. Wow, my hand is, like, all fives. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take that back because I want the five of coins. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Wow, this sucks. Uh oh wait. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Duh. I'm bad at math. I want that one too. I want that one too. That's mine. Take. I'm gonna take that nine. I'm gonna take this eight. Take. You took the last trick. Yes. So you get all the cards left on the table. Hey, they're all cups. That's good. I think. Ah. You get one point for having the most tricks. Yes. You get one point for having the most coin cards. Yes. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Yes. So many points no just points now. for you. No now, points for let's you, add Enrico. Up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. You have the most valuable tricks. Nailed it. So you get one point. Yes. And lastly, we score the scopas. Which I don't think I got any. Okay. Now, now, now I'm doing okay. Okay. I want this coin card. So you do get points for having the most coin cards. Which I'm gonna focus on that, I think. My seven. I'm gonna have to discard it. Crap. Wanted that. None of this adds up to seven. No, four plus one is not seven. 
Yeah, I get wrecked, Enrico. Yes, yes, yes! Seven! Oh, coins! I get a point for that. I feel like I'm learning this game, okay? <sighs> um, these don't match anything. I'll put my two down. Dang it. I was doing good there. Okay. Wow. These face cards are really messing me up. No! I was gonna take it back. Dang it. I'm not doing so good this time around. I'm gonna do this. Take. Okay, here we go. Let's do... I'll take this so I can keep my ten of coins. Hey, I wanted that. And... Okay, so I could do the ten and the eight and the two or the eight and the eight and I have to do the one that's the single card? First, right? No, I don't. Good, I got all those cards. I think it's if it's the same card and there's either a matching one or they add up to it. Mm. Wow, that wasn't so good. I took the last no. trip, so I get all the cards remaining on the table. Did not do as well that time. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Wow, that was terrible. Look at all those cards he's got. I get one point for having the most tricks. Oh, gosh. I get one point for having the most coin cards. Oh, no. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. You I have the did. most valuable oh, only tricks, by six. so I get one point. I'm doing pretty good still. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. I am now realizing that I'm not going to be able to progress past this point in the game until I win. Fine. Maybe I'll do awesome this round. Want that one of coins. Twos. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Okay, get the fours though. Just got nines all over the place, man. I'm gonna take my nine back. Uh, oh, another coin! Yay! Take. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of the one, but it's gonna be easier for me to get a match with the six. <sighs> Darn it! None of that adds up to six. These are mine. Yay, another coin card. Dang it. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. I do. You get one point for having the most tricks. Oh, we tied on coins. I cards. get one point for having the seven of coins. Dang. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable oh, so tricks, close. so I get one point. I don't know if I can win, you guys. That's a point for the seven of coins. For me? 
There's the ten of coins. I'm gonna take that. Take your threes, too. Alright, alright. Hmm. No! <sighs> he did what I was gonna do. Ah, should have waited. I don't think I'm very good at this game. Believe at the heart of the cards. Dang. That's seven. I'm gonna get my yeah, my eight of coins back. I want that. Dang. Dang it. <laughs> Taking all my cards. <gasps> Scopa. Scopa! Extra point. Man, this game goes on for a long time. Okay, I'm gonna get that coin card. Dang it, I wanted that one too. Ah, eight, nine. You cannot discard that card because you can take a trick with oh, it. Oh shoot, because there's a ten on the board. Thank you. So wrapped up in this game. You took the last trick. So you get all the cards left on the table. I get all the cards. You get one point for having the seven of coins. I do. <coughs> I get one point for having the most coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth. Uh, and see who got the highest number of primes. You beat me. I have the most valuable tricks. So I get one point. And it's lastly, 11. we score the scopas. I have the most points. So I win. Dang it! Do you want to keep playing? Let's take a break from cards. No, thank you. No, thank you. Then we have nothing more to say to each other. It was a pleasure meeting you, Samantha. Ciao. Okay. Antonio? We're going to come back to cards because I do have to beat him. Now I know how to play this game. Is there anything else I can do? All done. Okay, I do have to beat him at that game. I haven't done that. Gotta figure that out. I haven't done that. I haven't done that. Okay. Let's go. Take a little break. <coughs> See if I can talk to anybody else. And then we'll come back and try to beat Enrico cards again. These are gonna be all like melted and gross. Just leave them out here in the sun. Irresponsible. So, I noticed someone got a box of chocolates. You perhaps? From a secret admirer? Wasn't me. They're not for me. They're for someone named Il Dottore. I thought that was someone's special name for you. How disappointing. Especially since I was going to ask you if I could have a piece. I'm starving. Well, go get food. Don't just sit around eating chocolate. Oh, do you have a carnival costume? Do you have a carnival costume yet? No, but I have been invited to several parties, so I'm definitely going to get one. I've got this strange urge to dress up as a cat. Dress up as a cat, Helena. You do you, girl. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Have fun! Nancy, you're so polite. Just thanks for... thanks for talking to me. Hello, Nancy. Uh, I forgot about the prison thing. Do you live here? Do you live here at the car? No, I have a room in a building on the other side of the Grand Canal. A very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there, I suppose technically I do live here. 
<laughs> it's really wanted me to ask him about going to prison. Uh, what are you going to dress up as? What are you going to be for Carnivale this year? Working, that's what I'm going to be. I haven't been invited to any festivities, which is just as well because I detest costumes. So to Carnivale, I say, bah humbug. The more I talk to this guy, the less I like him. You guys, should I... Should I ask him about prison? I feel like I should ask him. I'm gonna ask him. Does Margarita know that you went to prison in England for art theft? What? I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't lie to me, Colin, would you? You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Colin? My real name is Justin Beaumont. Two years ago, I removed a Renoir from the private collection of a man to whom it was nothing more than a financial investment. I took it home so it would be appreciated as the masterpiece it was. Oh, he didn't even want to sell it. took just issue to, like, with my actions. <laughs> I was arrested, and I was sent to prison for a year. As for Margarita, she's the only one who knows. Not anymore. She says if I don't continue to work for her for next to nothing, she'll tell all her friends I have a criminal record, which would essentially end my career here in Venice, just like it ended my career back in England. If that were to happen, I'd be utterly lost. This is kind of sad, actually. So he just loves art so much that he stole a painting from someone who didn't appreciate it to hang it in his own house. And now Margarita's blackmailing him. In other words, she's so blackmailing you? What's worse, not only does she keep trying to get me to use substandard materials so she can save money on the renovations I'm doing for her, but she wants me to cover it up by lying to the Restoration Council about it. And for someone in my precarious position, <sighs> let's just say resisting has been very, very difficult. Enough. I insist we change the subject. That's not good. They're using- so she's forcing him to use substandard renovation materials for her hotel that people are going to stay in. And he can't tell anybody because she'll rat him out. This got dark. I need to get going. That is a wig you're wearing, right? Oh, yes it is. Good. Because there's nothing wrong with your real hair. Nothing at all. Literally did not ask you to comment on my appearance, Colin. This guy. Why are you touching my things? Please stop. I shouldn't touch her things. Hello, Nancy. Hmm. Are you dressing up? Will you be dressing up in a costume for Carnivale? Oh, troque! I have fallen in love with Commedia dell'arte. So this year I will dress up as my favorite character. The big-nosed, nasty Pulcinella. He and I are so opposite, no one will ever guess it is me. Interesting. Interesting costume choice. Can I have some money? I'm running kind of low on euros. You are not asking me for a handout, I hope. Or a loan. Could I maybe do some work for you and earn the money? No. Oh. But do not stop with me. There are many ways for people with energy and volio to make money in this city. Go to Rialto Market and see what people are buying. Use your eyes. Use your brain. You will think of a way. How long have you lived here? Almost two years. Two wonderful but very expensive years. The city expects homeowners like me to maintain these old buildings. But who pays for everything? We do. The Restoration Council gives us nothing, not one single euro. It is criminal. Miss Rutherford, uh, Prudence, she led me to believe you had a lot of money. You miss the point. Just because I can afford to pay does not mean I should. Oh it my is god. The, uh, principle. Next time we're playing a, a game that has a likable character. Besides, characters. being rich is something I like. If I am all the time spending money, I will soon be unrich. My roommate, Helena Berg, does she stay here a lot? This is the first time. I met her at a party which Rosetta del Bene gave. When Helena found out where I lived, she practically begged me to let her stay here. And with Rosetta standing right there, well, I could not say no. Does she really know as much about Venice as she claims? She knows a lot, more than your average tourist, Senzaltro. But that is all she truly is. A tourist from Hamburg, no matter how much she wants people to think otherwise. She is what you call a social climber. 
always asking me about parties. When they are, where they are, who is invited, what should she wear, whose name should she say to get in. Che schifo! The upper class of Venezia is close to outsiders. Elena is full of volio, this is true, but she will never be one of them. Us. I hear you're a terrible person. I'm I hear you've been using the fact that Colin has a criminal record to try to get him to do things that may not be totally legal. Who tells you this? Colin, he says that? Because I do no such thing. It is him. He is the one who wants to break the law. Margarita, he says. Pay me a thousand euros, and I will find a way to save you ten thousand euros on your renovation. No, I tell him. Shamo stare. But he keeps bringing it up. He told me just the opposite. He is telling you that cheating on the renovations was my idea? Oh, once a liar and a thief, always a liar and a thief. This is what I get for being nice. If and when people find out I hired such a man, I will be the laughingstock of Venezia. Oh, snap. So, please, Nancy. Uh, please. Keep what you know to yourself. Interesting turn of events. I'll talk to you later. Good, good. Hmm. There is some drama happening in here. Hmm. Interesting. I really, ah, gotta beat this guy at cards. Okay. Hmm. I have to go back and play Scopa. Can I take a nap? It's too early to go to bed. I feel like we did a lot today, Nancy. Okay, we'll try cards one more time. You have changed your mind about playing Scopa? My nemesis. Let's try. Deal me in. Enrico shuffles. Okay, Enrico. Round two. Here we go. Well, so far I feel like we're not off to a great start. Six, seven, eight, twelve. Ah. Yeah, before I forget the rules. Not that I think I totally understand the rules, but I feel like I've got a good enough grasp on them. Let's see. None of these add up to seven. They're all even numbers. Or five. I want that coin card, though. <sighs> Not off to a great start, guys. Three cards right there. Oh. <laughs> Scopa! Dang it. Mm. Dang it. Scopa! That's not good. <clears throat> Alright. Bring it back around, Nancy. Let's go. None of these add up to anything. Not good. Not good. Ooh. That felt good, though. <gasps> Scopa! Scopa! I got one. Dang it! Oh yes, seven of coins, you are mine. Take. 
Alrighty, alrighty. Take that. Oh, seven. Oh, wait, uh... Four plus five is nine. We've played all our cards. Yes, I get all those cards. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards okay. left on the table. I do. I have the seven of coins. You get one point for having the most tricks. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Two extra points. I get okay. one point for having the most coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth. You've got And see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. And lastly... We score the Scopas. I got one of those, too. Okay, he's only beating me by one. We can do this, guys. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. That's a coin card, which I want. Darn it. Darn it. None of these make anything. Six. I wanted that. Hey, Scopa. Scopa. I wish I could take like two in my hand and make it add up to one on the board, but that's not how this game works, apparently. I... No! Dang it. I took the last trick, so I get all the cards remaining on the table. You do. No points for me. <laughs> oh my god, no points for me. I, I get one point for points. having the most tricks. I get one point for having the most coin cards. Oh, I geez. get one point for having the seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks. So I get one point. That was... And lastly, we score the score. Not a good round for Nancy. Not good. Seven of coins. You are mine. Hmm. Oh jeez. How it's like he's it's like he knows. <coughs> oh yes. Another coin card. That's you. Hmm. No. Oh gosh. This is hard. That looks like a 10 to me. Yay. Got my one back. All right. Five. Oh wait, I can, oh, I want this, right? Nine? Yeah, that coin. Ten. <sighs> Six. 
seven of this. Those match. Yeah. No! I wanted that too. Darn. I took the last trick, no. so I get all the cards remaining on the table. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Yes. No points for you. Haha, <laughs> no now, points for you. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the oh, highest wait. number of primes. Was it me? You have the most yes. valuable tricks, so you get one point. I'm at six, all right. He didn't get any points. Sucks to suck, Inbrico. Scopa! Scopa! Ah, dang. <clears throat> yeah, it's not fun when someone's doing it to you, is it? <clears throat> Mistake. Dang it. Not going well. You took the last trip, uh -huh. so you get all the cards left on the table. Okay. You get one point for having the most tricks. I got like all the swords, good for me. I get one point for having the most coin cards. That's nine. I get one point for having the seven of coins. That's ten. Now, let's add up oh, what man. each card is worth. I, I lost again. And see who got the highest number of primes. Ah. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one I point. I lose! And lastly, we score the Scopas. I win. How about another okay. game? All right. One more try. I know this is, like, super interesting <laughs> to all my fans at home. Now I'm, like, really want to win this game. Okay, okay. Crap. Not good. None of that. <sighs> okay, I had something out of it. Yes, seven of coins. No ones. All right. Ooh, six of coins. Three of coins. <gasps> I'm gonna get all of them. Yes, nine of coins. I've got like four of them. Ah. No. <sighs> Suck. That's okay. I take that seven. Ten. Darn. Hey. No. Scopa. That's an extra point for you. Okay. <gasps> mm -hmm. 
We've played all our cards. I took the last trick, so I get all the cards left on the table. This guy. You get one point for having the seven of coins. You get 17 points. I get one points. point for having the most Apparently. coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. You have the most valuable tricks, so you get one point. And lastly, we score the scopas. All right, tied at two, tied at two. Here we go. Sevens everywhere. Okay. Hey, Scopa. Hey! Got another one. It's two more points for me. Ah! Should have done the one. Hmm. Threes? Should I do the. Oh no, I'm gonna do the four. I can get an extra card. Man, this game's hard. <laughs> There's a ten. Eight of coins. Uh, right. uh, uh -oh. uh, you cannot take several cards with a card in your hand. That's the rule. If a similar card is on the table. The ten that I missed. Yeah. Ryan. <laughs> it's like a curse. How do you do that? <laughs> the man can't you lose. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Yay. I get one point for having the most coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth. And see who got the highest number of primes. You have the most valuable tricks, so you get one point. And lastly, we score the scopas. Guys, I'm winning. This is very exciting. Oh, are you beating me in XP now? Dang it. Ah, son of a... <sighs> Mine? No! Scopa! Ah. Oh no, I gotta do the three. Or is it... I can do the four, right? I want all of those. Yeah. That's mine too. Give. That's mine too. Mine. Aha. Mine. You cannot discard oh, no. that card because... I know. I understand the rules, Enrico. Vaguely. I sort of understand the rules. Oh, that's six. Boop. And I want that four. 
Yay coins. And I want that eight. Yes. <gasps> the seven of coins. You took the last trick. Which I get. So you get all the cards left on the table. Yes. He doesn't sound super happy about that, which I love. You get one Look point at all those for cards having I got. the most tricks. You seven. get one point for having the most coin cards. Eight. You get one point for having the seven of coins. Nine. I need two more points. No points for you. Two more now, points. Let's add up what each card is worth Guts. and see who got the highest number of primes. <coughs> you have the most oh, valuable. I beat him by one. So you get one point. <gasps> and Ten? lastly, we score the scopas. Dang it! Come on, all I need is one point to win. You have to get to 11. Come on, me. I can do this. Eight. Six. None of this adds up to anything. Math is hard. He might get seven to eight points before I get one. That's the thing, though, is that that's always how this game goes for me. Uh, four, eight, five. I just really want to. See, does any of this add up to seven? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Seven. That, look at that. That's four cards in one go. I can do this. Just gotta believe in myself. Ten of coins. Mine. Eight of coins. Mine. Give. Yes. That five is also mine. It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm taking it. No! Scopa! Scopas are scored last, so that's okay. I feel like I'm actually learning how to play this game a little bit. Just like a tiny bit. No! Still not doing so well, though. Okay, nine of coins is mine, which is great. I'm racking up the coin cards, which you get an extra point for if you have the most. Mine. <gasps> Look at all those coin cards I have in my hand. Please put down matching cards so I can take them. <gasps> Look at me. Scopa! Scopa! <gasps> Guys, I think I just nailed it. Ah, what a great way to end the last round. Unfortunately, in this case, no point is given for a scope. If the game ends on a scopa, you don't get a point? That seems backwards. You get one point for having the most tricks. What you up? You get one point for having the most coin cards. That's 12. I get one point for having the points. seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth. And see who got the highest number of primes. Do we tie? We both have the same number of valuable tricks. So All no tricks. one gets a point. And lastly, we score the scopas. Which I got like you a won. million. Nice. Okay, one. Played. I win. And because you beat me, yes. we can finally talk business. I have a client who desires the Saddam Melek Sapphire. Have you heard of it? He wants me to... What am I, a jewel thief? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for a quiz, Signore Tazza. Yeah, I just sat Forgive here for four hours me. playing Sadan cards with Milek you. The is said to be the largest and most beautiful star sapphire in <clears> all <throat> of Europe. As you probably know, its current owner is a man named Vladimir Thanatos, who keeps it at the Palazzo Zatel, guarded stone? by one of the most sophisticated security systems ever devised. Even someone with your like youthful Thanos. energy and talent will find stealing it a challenge. Which is why I suggest you contact Gina as soon as possible. Okay, guys. I thought it was funny. Uh, who's Gina? Gina? Who's Gina? <laughs> you Americans and your sense of humor. Gina who? You are a hoot, Samantha. <laughs> but now, back to business. Contact Gina soon. The more time you give her, the more details on the system she will be able to give you. There. Business is over. Back to pleasure. Do you have time for another game of Scopa? No one has time for another game of Scopa. I should go. No, I'd better get going. <coughs> Good luck, Samantha. As soon as you have the sapphire, 
Bring it to me. So we're, um, we've stolen the identity of a jewel thief. Which I don't feel great about. Check. Um, I feel really nervous about stealing a giant sapphire. Check. Tatsa. Uh, oh, yeah. Gain Enrico Tatsa's trust by stealing the sapphire for him. See if the Gina that Tata was talking about is the same Gina that's on the computer in Fongo's office. I don't remember reading about a Gina. Goodness. I feel like I'm getting in too deep with this mystery. Like, I don't... I don't want to get arrested. I'm gonna have to do some serious soul searching about this, Nancy. Not feeling great. Can I take a nap? It's too early to go to bed. It's not gonna let me sleep. Maybe Sophie Is everything will know. All right? Other than the fact that Enrico Tatsa wants me to commit a felony for him, <laughs> everything's fine. Yeah. He wants you to commit a crime? He thinks I'm someone named Samantha Quick. Have you heard of her? I, I'm not free to say. That means yes. Well, apparently she's a thief. A very good one. So good, he wants her, me, to steal the Sadal Malik sapphire for him. That is wonderful, Nancy. It is? The Sadal Malik was stolen years ago, so whoever you will be stealing it from is not its rightful owner anyway. Interesting. Once this investigation is over, we can recover the sapphire from Tatsa. And if you steal it for him, he will truly think you are someone he can trust. You'll help me, right? Oh no. <laughs> Why you would they help me? Your own. If we make oh, God. it easy for you, he might become suspicious and everything would be ruined. What if I get caught? We will let you go, of course. But you will be dropped from the case and be forced to leave Italy immediately. Great. As for this Samantha That's quick not good. person, do not worry. We will take care that she does not show up unexpectedly. You can do this, Nancy. You will do this. I am confident. Glad somebody is. It sounds an awful lot like they're going to kill her. Whoop. Um, who is Gina? Do I need to break back into Fongo's office and get back on his computer? Unfortunately, I don't... I don't know who Gina is. I'm gonna take off his ridiculous outfit, first of all. Oh, look at that. Ridiculous. Put my regular clothes back on. Nope, I'm gonna take off my gloves. Or what gloves? My sunglasses? I'm gonna keep my sunglasses on though, because they're cool. Huh. How are we gonna figure out who Gina is? I guess I'll break back into the office and see if there's anything in there. I feel like probably not, but... Never hurts to double check, right? <laughs> I have to pick the lock open again. Um... Uh, this puzzle changes. That's fun. It's an oh man. It's not the same ones every time. Darn. Darn it! <laughs> oh gosh. That one moves that one. 
That one was both of those. Okay, I'm gonna set these back together. There we go. Oh, no. Dang it. No, that's the one that moves on its own. That's fine. Okay. That was harder the second time around. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Fongo's on his way. Uh oh. We're gonna hide in the cabinet again. Why does this guy always come back to his office when I'm here? It's like he knows. Safe to leave. What did he what did he take? The robot's still there. Another card is missing. Hmm. What is he doing with these cards? I think this is all very suspicious. Oh man. I forgot which one the password was. Do you guys remember the password? Ah. There we go. Who did we decide Gina was? Something about these cards is really suspicious to me. I don't know what he's doing with them. Hmm. As you wish. <laughs> Checkmate. Checkmate, I found a similar game once in a trash can outside your office. That's some real chess smack talk. There. <gasps> Gina's chessboard server. Uh oh. Should I say something to him? Check the trash can. Yeah, the trash can and the fountain. Hmm. Nope, go back. Hmm. I don't see a trash can. Could try to find the fountain, though. Uh. Which one had the fountain? Gonna walk around for a while. Hmm. There's a fountain. Nothing? Hmm. Nope. Ooh. A club. If you're here for the dance audition, take a look at the dance instruction book. When you think you're ready, put the cat suit on and get on stage. If you're good enough, you can keep the suit and come by anytime you want and dance some tips. Oh, and if you're not here for the audition, beat it. What? Put on the cat suit and audition so I can come back and dance for tips. These are kids games. Should I do this? Should I? I'm gonna do this. Do 
Fans expect certain dance moves when certain sound cues play. Make sure you understand which cue goes with which dance move. If you're ever dancing to a cue and a new one plays, even though the first one is also playing, switch to the newest dance for the newest cue. Here's a list of cues and their associated dance moves. Tech will try and provide a colored light cue to help you out on stage. If you're given the part, you can keep the dance costume free of charge. I can keep the cat costume? Oh. What in the world? Ooh. Okay. The, <laughs> the cheer! <clears throat> okay. The sea kid. An ocarina. Okay. <laughs> the fence. A. A buzzer. You do the robot. A siren, you do the bob. What, this, what is this outfit, though? Oh, there's a lot of these. Oh, guys. I don't know about this. Okay. So what we do is we listen for the sound cue and the matching color. And we do that dance move. Claps. Ocarina. Whistle. Can I- Oh, I can hear what they sound like. Okay. That's- that's the bell. Claps. What kind of game is this? Okay, I know what a whistle sounds like. Do the buzzer. The siren. Oh man. Um. Okay, so we're doing this. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh, jeez. Forget it. From now on, your name's uh, Punchy. Punchy LaRue. Punchy LaRue. Uh, next! Well, I got to keep the costume, so I guess that means I won. And now I can come back and dance for tips. I'm not hunky. Don't need to be up here. Come on. Wow. <laughs> I seem to have forgotten what I was doing. Oh, I'm trying to figure out who Gina is. Um, what the?
Someone dropped a pot on my head and I died. <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to jump out of the way? Okay. Um, I, let's look. Uh, nope. <coughs> nope. Guess we don't want to look up at the urn. Hmm. How am I going to get out of this situation? Can I back up? No, I guess I'm just I'm just going to I'm going to get stuck in a loop of uh getting hit on the head by an urn. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get out of this? Can I if I see it happening, can I move? Ha! I can. Okay. I think. No, I wanted to. No, I want to look at the urn that just fell on my head. That only took me seven tries to do. Wow. Um. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll die. Um. No, we made it out. We're okay. Except somebody just dropped a pot on my head. Maybe it was an accident. I doubt it was an accident. Are these flowers? You look upset. A big urn fell off the roof and almost hit me as I was coming in. It fell from this roof? Mava! <laughs> she tried to kill me. The roof must have crumbled out from under it. Something has to repair Bel Fare. I am glad you are all right, of course. Of course. Nancy definitely thinks that Margarita dropped Guess that Guess I'll be on going. Her. Padronissimo. Of course. <sighs> what a day. That was scary. So, what's going on? What made you decide to stay here this trip? I met Margarita at a party last October. And when she heard I was going to need a place to stay when I made this trip, she practically begged me to stay here. She begged you? Did she ever? She's lonely and quite insecure. She wants to believe she has lots of friends in high places, but they're not her friends, not really. And I think deep down, she knows that poor thing. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Tschüss. Tschüss. Well. This is still really cool. I think eventually I'll probably see something suspicious from this window. Not today, though, Nancy. It's still too early to go to bed. I don't feel like going to bed yet. You almost died, but okay. Well. <coughs> Let's see what's left in the little log here. The music box still hadn't figured that part out. The combination that I found and to figure out who Gina is and steal the sapphire. But I think we played a good chunk of the game, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. Um, this has been really fun. I'm gonna save my game while I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this has been super fun, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and playing some Nancy Drew and solving some mysteries. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope it wasn't too boring watching me sit around and play cards for like an hour. Um, but I had a lot of fun and I will uh, pick this up next time. And uh, keep an eye on the Twitter. And I'll let you know when we're going to be doing this. Uh, as far as the next thing we have coming up, it is Saturday. So this afternoon we have our next episode of Survivor's Complex. It's going to be awesome. 5.30 Eastern Time. Come hang out with us. We've got some fun um, announcements and fun things to talk about. And some, some fun things to discuss and a really fun game to play. So uh, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. And uh, it's not nighttime, but see you later, Internet.